Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought that we could kick off this limited pack series, let's call it that, by doing an apartment. And apartments came in The Sims 4 first with city living. So today we will be using only base game and the city living expansion pack. Besides that, I have created a sim and we are going to be building an apartment for that sim. But before we jump into it, I just want to mention that you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is Wistofu and all of my builds are uploaded to the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime and I will leave all that information in the description if that's easier for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's get into the game. So this is Matteo Rossi. For some reason when I was making him I had in mind that he was Italian. I don't know why but this is him and just a disclaimer I did not limit the packs to just base game and city living to make the sim just because it is not the main thing of the video but still some of you guys said it would be a good idea to sometimes make the sims for the homes that I make and so I thought we could try doing that today and this is him he's an adult and and his aspiration is city native because that's one of the aspirations that come with city living so I thought it made sense and we will be making him a an art critic from the critic career so his traits are art lover of course um, he's also outgoing and he's a perfectionist I thought it made sense for an art critic and I just thought that this sim could be very just a city lover maybe he loves going out and meeting new people and also he has a very extravagant personality as you can probably tell from the outfit and speaking of let's just check out the outfits these are both of the everyday outfits as you can tell he's very extravagant and he likes color and patterns and he likes to just experiment and I kind of want the apartment that we'll be making for him kind of like that as well. I wanted to mirror his personality. So yeah, I just thought I would make him a little bit funky and I thought it would be fun to build something for someone so peculiar. Now, I don't want to make a renovation of this apartment. I would rather just bulldoze and make an apartment from scratch. So let's do that. Actually, I have to delete everything manually or else the windows will be gone. Okay, now we can have a blank canvas. Let's put some lights around. Okay, so for the floor plan, we have a lot of the apartment here and the inside, so we don't get any windows. I feel like it will be a good spot to add some bathrooms and the kitchen because they, out of all the rooms in the house, I feel like they are the ones that could go by without windows. And I always like having a bathroom near the entrance. That's just a me thing. But then we can have here the kitchen against this wall. And we can actually add another bathroom here since we have these small windows. And by the way, I'm not changing any of the windows because I think I would just rather keep them as they are. And I think this nook here will be good to include maybe like a built-in storage type of thing. And it kind of divides off the rest of the space. Over on this side, we can have the bedrooms. I'm thinking of having two of them, one for Matteo and another for guests. I'm imagining this sim likes hosting and having people over, so that's no surprise to have a guest room and I think it will be a challenge to kind of make this a extravagant place with just the base game and one expansion pack. We'll see how we do. Okay, so we have main bedroom, guest bedroom. We have an ensuite and probably a walk-in wardrobe. We have another bathroom here. We have another bathroom here, which I think could connect to another room. And I'm going to turn this into an office for this sim because as an art critic, I guess you have to have somewhere where you could work so we can do that. Then we have space here for the kitchen. Then we can have also the dining and the living area, all just open concept. I just realized this is like the tallest wall height and it's kind of difficult to make it work, but that's another challenge for us. Okay. And I don't know why, but I always like starting with the kitchen so we can, we can get on that. So I really want something funky and colorful for the whole apartment. And as for the kitchen, we're working with base game stuff only. So maybe we can do the green. Actually, I'm liking the, the blue better. So let's go for that. I'm using all these cabinets from base game and I'm already missing the other packs because they just look so outdated and it's kind of tough to making them work. But you know, it's a humbling experience. Actually, I'm gonna move this door inside just because we get more free room here and we can actually get an island here we could do a different color for the island i feel like that's something i see quite often also i'm placing some of these counters backwards not counters um cupboards and that's because i feel like 
it was too much with all the handles. And the way I did this was basically I built a wall the same length as that one. Then I grabbed the cabinets. I placed them like this. And then I just grabbed the wall. I place it where I want it to be. And then I just delete the walls and the cabinets stay floating. Then I just pretty much rearrange them with the tool mod and make it look better. Let's go funky and add a gold sink. Maybe we can get some more gold details. Let's add the colorful dishwasher. Let's add this loaf. Just because it has also the gold detail. It's a cake, not a loaf. Some high chairs here. And I feel like the dining room should be right in front of the kitchen. And since we are only using one expansion pack, let's try to use the objects that come with it. Maybe we should do yellow chairs here. I feel like it was too much blue before. And I feel like if everything clashes, then it works. Okay, I think we can add some color with a cool rug. Actually, I think this rug kind of works. And I also want to fill the space with a lot of artwork. In terms of curtains, we have these that came with City Living, so I feel like it makes sense to try and use them. And since we're here, let's add this fireplace because I want to do some sort of feature walls. And actually, since we have this wallpaper from City Living, we can kind of make it look like a New York apartment type of feature wall with the exposed brick. I don't know how much sense it makes, but we're already so confined that I feel like it's okay. I just moved the fireplace over to this wall and painted it a darker green. I didn't like how it looked in the middle of the apartment, so we pushed it to the side. Now I think we can try to divide the spaces with some bookcases in the middle of the apartment. Okay, so I've had an idea. I kind of want to use this one since it came with City Living and I was thinking of raising it up to kind of create one singular unit and to fix this little part here that looks kind of weird. I think I'm just going to use a shelf. I'm going to rotate it to the side. Then I'm just going to elevate it and I'm just going to arrange it where I want it to be. Okay, a little bit odd, but it might just work. We could even experiment with the colors that it has. Maybe we tone it down with the curtains so we can use something more daring on the bookcase. Actually, we could even try to move this to the center so Sims can route through one way or the other. I'm actually having a hard time with the pink, so let's change it for now. One thing I feel is very common is having these individual pieces of art that you kind of collect through the years. And so it's like every piece you have in your home is unique. And I think it makes sense for this sim. So I think adding a few of these, I think they make the place look like it has some designer pieces. Okay, let's try some of these colors. It's so difficult to make it work just base game in one expansion pack. It's proving to be a bit more difficult than what I was expecting, but again, it's part of the humbling experience. And you know, there are some objects that I never use, such as this standing lamp, and this is the perfect timing to use them, so because no one can tell us we're wrong. Even something like this. I feel like every piece in The Sims home is kind of like a piece of art. And it makes sense because furniture is art. Oh, and this is a designer piece, speaking of. It's really pretty too. It just never fits any of the homes that I build. Well, until now. We can maybe squish a table between these two chairs. They were looking kind of random. Let's add a TV. Oh, we have this city living one. And you know, I think we need to get some artwork here because it's looking very bare, which is the opposite of what we want. Oh, this is a perfect painting for this apartment. I've talked about this, but I wish we could get some new swatches and mesh updates because objects like these, when they, they were added when the game came out, they look kind of outdated and I feel like they could use a facelift. It's also starting to look like this sim is an art collector as well, which is fine and makes total sense to me. I think I might change the paintings for a shelf here and we could add a painting leaning against the wall. We can use this jar to put a plant in. This is a pretty swatch. I like the idea of this place being somewhere where you can find a lot of funky things like this porcelain pig. Maybe even a flamingo. Again, the sim is very extravagant, so it makes sense. Let's also add some things to this bookshelf. Let's get them an award for best critic. This sim is, this is the type of sim that can have a picture of an apple, no? I don't think I've ever seen this poster. 
It's really nice. Oh, we can put a divider here and maybe we can bring in the pink we had previously maybe in this one i feel like it's kind of tucked away in the corner and it's not so loud so i think i'm gonna keep it let's get some plants out here and this is a good one again some very interesting objects that i have never used so let's try to make them work they're very different so this one is a big yes for me just the weirdest shape. Let me just hide some plants in here. Also, I'll just put some of these also by the entrance. As for paintings, I feel like I want to go to the gallery and get some cool artworks to add around the apartment. These ones are so adorable. I saw them on the gallery and I, I had to put them in this home. So I just went through the gallery and picked up a bunch of artwork because I wanted it to have that feel that this person collects and appreciates art. And by the way, I will leave all the gallery IDs where I took these paintings from in the description. So Matteo is someone who likes the color yellow. And I'm not sure if I want to make a yellow theme bedroom, but I feel like we can try. In terms of beds, we have some city living ones. And you know, since we have a, the top tallest wall height, we can probably do this bed with this thing that I already forgot the name of. Let's use these bedside tables because the color kind of matches with what we have in the pillows. Let's add this dresser in here. I have some fun colors too. Oh, we have these cool lights from City Living. We can add some around the place. They come in the same funky swatch as the beams and the bookshelf. Okay, change of plans. I, I put some brick on this wall and I painted this yellow because since we already have it in, in the apartment, I thought we could bring it in to the bedroom as well. And then the yellow wasn't so suffocating, but I will say this is a very weird window. I can cover that up. Just gonna get some clutter out to these side tables and some lamps since we, we don't have any yet. Oh, we have the smaller version of the one we put in the living room. We could add this painting to get some more yellow in here. And I feel like we should have another one over on this side. But maybe let's add the city one. It's not my favorite, but since this sim likes color and the city, I feel like this one makes sense. I feel like we should just hide this window with something like that. Then this can go over more to this side. We can add the painting here, maybe a bit lower. I have space here for an ottoman, so let's add that in. Let's do this for a little bit of pink, since we, we are going all out with colors and textures and all that. Let's do maybe a seating area over here. We can use these items from the expansion pack that we haven't used yet. We can do maybe something like this. Put a round rug underneath. Still trying to figure out the colors. I have never used this. Okay, now let's let's uh, keep this one. We could add this little art piece here. I don't think I've ever used it as well. This is a good exercise to see what items you didn't know existed in the game. And I feel like we can squeeze some more art in here, some sculptures like this. We can add some more of these paintings and maybe some plants as well. It's so tough not having all of those beautiful plants that we have gotten more recently. Let's add another plant because why not? Okay, I think we can call it for this bedroom and we can move on to the next one. We have another bed from City Living, which we can use. I think we can continue to have a little fun with it. We could do a darker shading here. Oh, this wall color matches perfectly. We could go for a rug like this, maybe. Just gonna scale it up a bit with the tool mod. Just gonna put this here and we can reuse this light on either side of it. Actually, let's use the funky one that we had outside, but in a different swatch. I feel like this one ties in perfectly. I'm gonna add this painting. Just gonna add some more paintings here, leaning against the wall, like so. I'm just gonna put this little chair because we haven't used it yet. Oh, this is a fun one. Let's do this one. I think I'm gonna keep this room a little bit simpler, but still with a lot of Mateo's character. And I think we can move on to the ensuite bathroom. I feel like I wanna do a pink bathroom, just because Mateo feels like he would do that. Okay, and maybe we can do some pink counters too. It's bothering me that the pink doesn't match, but it is what it is. Oh, I totally forgot. We need a door or an arch here to go to the walk-in closet. So let's get one out. I think we can still have the counters put over on this wall. Yeah. Now let's get some clutter. Let's also do a pink. Let's do pink everything here. Now let's get a rug. You guessed it. 
It's gonna be pink, walk in closet. I honestly want to keep it simple. Maybe we should do some carpeting in here. Also just gonna put a chair in here. So I've scrapped the carpet and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a round rug in here. I think we can just use some cabinets to make a fake wardrobe type of thing. Okay, I think I like this better. All right, let's move on to the office. And I put already a lot of objects here because for this career, you need to have writing skill and also the painting skill, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna add an easel in and a computer. Maybe we can set up the easel looking outside. I think that would be a good idea. So there's this piece that I don't ever use, but it looked cool. So I added to the office. Keep forgetting that these walls are so tall that I'm putting up so high up. Okay, let's get an actual easel out here. Let's do this one. Maybe for this wall we can do a blue. Kind of like the one we have on these curtains. Or maybe we do the brick and we do the blue over on this wall. Okay, now let's get a desk. I like this base game one. And I think I want to do the desk also in the middle of the room. Okay, we need a computer now. This city living one is pretty good. And we should get a bookcase to go here as well. Let's do this one from the expansion pack. Everything here feels too blue. Maybe we can break it up by adding a rug on a different color. Just gonna add this chair once again. Now also I feel like we need artwork in here so let's take care of that. And here we have the picture of a pear. Let's add a light to some more clarity when we paint. Oh, actually, let's use uh, this rug because, again, never used it like a good opportunity. And it uh, brings some other colors in because it's very blue. So, yeah, let's keep that. And I think that's it for the study room as well. And now I'm going to finish up some details and we'll be right back for the final tour. So the apartment is done and we are about to tour the interior. So buckle up and let's go in. So as soon as we go in, oh, there he is. Hello, Mateo. So to the right of the entrance, we have this little entrance area with a console table where you can drop your keys. We have a little plant and a mirror. We have a door also which leads to the first bathroom and this is the red bathroom. All bathrooms are color coded and beyond these dividers we have the living room. I wanted to make sure it had a lot of artwork and be really funky and I believe you can see all the personality from all of these items and I think we did a pretty good job considering it's only base game and city living. Over to the left and beyond these bookcases, we have the dining area. We also have some chairs and a lot of art again. Um, it's really colorful. And then opposite to it, we have the kitchen. I added a little touch of yellow there just because I thought it looked nice. And yeah, also a few colors. And I actually liked how it came out, even though I'm not the biggest fan of these base game counters. I feel like it's a matter of making them work with the rest of the stuff that we pick. And then through this door, we have the office slash painting room. And I feel like this is the most toned down room of them all. It has a lot of character, but I feel like Matteo needs some peace and quiet to work sometimes, especially when writing. And you know, there's no better canvas than the world outside or through the window. So we have that. And then through this door, we have the blue bathroom. We have a few city living items, such as the bathtub and the sinks. Now back again into the main area. This is what it looks like from this side. It looks like he's done reading. We have the corridor and here to the left, we have the guest bedroom. So it is quite simple, but still very colorful. Some paintings as well. And yeah, you can add some more to this bedroom if you'd like. Then back into the hall and into the last room, which is Mateo's bedroom. So it is very yellow. That's one of his big colors. And it has a few hints of pink and many other colors, orange. And yeah, I like how big this room is. It feels very on brand for him. He's also a very big, colorful person. And through this door, we have the bathroom, the pink bathroom, his ensuite, and has everything you would need. And through this archway, we have the walk-in closet. So it's pretty simple too, but it's a nice addition to this extravagant man's life. But yeah, that is it for this very colorful and textured filled apartment. I think we did a good job in trying to make it look very lived in and very collector like without having a lot of the packs and it would have looked so different if 
had we had access to the other packs or had we used other packs. And I really like this challenge of limiting the options because it kind of makes you look for alternatives. And I'm excited to continue this series. So let me know what you think of this apartment in the comments. Oh, and by the way, I will be uploading it to the gallery as a room because you can't upload apartments. And I have deleted the walls on the door so it all uploads as if it was one unique room. So I think you just have to put the wall right back. And once again, we're at the end of the video. Let me know what other packs or pack combos you would like to see a build with. I have a few ideas already, but it's always good to hear. And I also don't mind repeating packs because some packs go well with a lot of other packs. So that's something I can do. I'm thinking for the future doing also builds with CC and also some building challenges. So let me know if that is something you, you would be excited for. But again, this will be up on the gallery. My ID is Cats Against Crime. I will also be uploading Matteo to the gallery if you're interested in downloading him. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.